evil. It all began as an ordinary day in September. An ordinary day in Raccoon City. A city controlled by Umbrella. No one dared to oppose them. And that lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. I suppose they had to suffer the consequences of their actions. But there would be no forgiveness. If only they had had the courage to fight. It's true that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop them. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's last chance, and my last chance. My last escape. September 28th, daylight. The monsters have overtaken the city. Somehow, I'm still alive. Okay, we've got to get out of here. What? What do you think you're talking about? I just lost my daughter out there! How dare you tell me to go back outside? I'm sorry about your daughter, but there isn't gonna be any rescue. We have to get out of here! No! I'm not going anywhere! I'd rather starve to death in here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters! Now leave me alone!
Get away! Hang in there. Why isn't someone doing something about this? I didn't know you were still alive, Jill. The police aren't trained for this kind of situation. What could they do? Listen, he's coming for us. We're both gonna die. What are you saying? You'll see. He's after STARS members. There's no escape.
What's that? Calm down, lady. I'm no zombie. My name's Carlos. Corporal of Umbrella's Biohazard Countermeasure Force. What's your name? Jill, did you just say you belong to Umbrella's army? Yeah. We came all the way out here to save you civilians. But the mission went bad the minute we landed. Crazy? You could have barbecued both of us! Ask you something. I know. You wanna ask me out? All the foxy ladies love my accent. It drives them crazy. What? Keep dreaming. Tell me, why did Umbrella send your team in? We're here to rescue the civilians. Don't lie to me. Umbrella is the reason why this whole mess began. 
Look, we're just mercenaries, hired hands. Do you really think the master would tell his dogs why they have to retrieve the stick he just threw? If you want answers, you should talk to someone else. I am not with Umbrella. Believe it or not, we're only here to rescue the civilians. If you can trust me, then help us. Think about it.
You're one of the survivors from the rescue team, right? I just ran into your teammate, Carlos. How did a girl like you manage to survive? Hey, I'm no ordinary civvy. I'm a member of STARS. STARS? You mean the RPD Special Force Team? Is someone wounded back there? Oh, this looks bad. Uh, they're coming. Get ready. Uh, uh, fire. Fire. Stay together. Calm down. You're safe now. Everything is going to be okay. So Jill, did you decide to help us out? It looks like we're the only ones who survived. We should work together. No, we can't trust her. Why? But Sergeant, we need her help. Our unit's down to you, me, and Lieutenant Mikhail. That's it. And Mikhail's hurt bad. If we don't cooperate, we won't be walking away from this mission. Then let's go over our plan. We're moving to the clock tower area, which is the designated landing zone for the extraction chopper. Once we get there and give the signal, the chopper will fly in and pull us out. That's a lot of ground to cover. I, I don't think we can make it on foot. The main problem we have is that the landing zone is cut off from here by the fire. So we have no choice but to use this cable car to navigate through it. Fortunately, we can also use it as a moving shield to get us through the worst areas. That works for me. Good plan, sir. Okay, people. Let's get moving. Jill, put this on.
Hey, the zombies are getting restless. I know. I can hear them. What's going on? Jill! What's wrong? They're coming! They must have sniffed us out. They know we're here. Hey, calm down. Any objections to my playing hero this time? What are you doing? Carlos! Eat this! Relax. I'm not dead yet. Are you okay? I'm fine. Uh, that hero stuff is harder than it looks. are ringing. We both should be deaf by now. Okay, I'm gonna scrounge up some equipment. There might not be any at our destination. Thank you. 
Wait! What did you do? I had no choice. He was about to turn into a zombie. It would have been a threat, so I eliminated it. But he was still conscious, wasn't he? He was as good as dead. And it took fewer bullets to kill him now than it would have, if he had transformed.
It looks like we're ready to go. Here, take this. Okay. Uh, Nikolai won't be joining us. I understand. I'll operate the cable car. Let's go. It's looking good.
freaks are out! managed to survive. Maybe we can start helping each other again. Yeah, it's been rough. But we can rest now. No, we're the only ones left. There's no rest for the wicked. Here's a gift for you.
Jill! Jill! Hang in there! What have I done? I'm sorry, Jill. Please, wake up! Jill! Jill! October 1st, night. I woke up to the sound of falling rain. I can't believe I'm still alive. Uh, uh, uh. Carlos? 
It looks like our roles have been reversed from when we originally met, huh? Don't worry, Jill. This chapel is safe. I've been infected by the virus, haven't I? Hey! Take it easy. I'm okay. Don't feel any pain. But that's what bothers me. If I can't feel anything, then what does that mean? Don't give up, Jill. I'll take care of you. Whatever you do, don't let that virus beat you. Thank you. 